So there's a body laying in the front of Felix Montreal's house. You are vaguely familiar with this house as this is where you conducted your last interview with him where he said that he was a werewolf and that he uh, had to keep his murderous instincts in check and that he still wanted to run for alderman to serve the great people of the state of Georgia. Uh, Georgia. So, um, And then he was like... <laughs> oh, sorry. I had to tamp down the wolf instinct. Yeah. Uh, the, so I see a body when I get out of the van? Mm-hmm. It's Felix. Just like laying on the ground. Smeared. Just red all over his limbs, his arms. As you get closer, his face. I'm gonna, I'm actually from far away <laughs> gonna assume this is Felix just being Felix. Like, like, oh, he's celebrating winning. And I'm gonna go get my camera equipment on. Okay. <laughs> Should be like, fucking weirdos. And I'll go get my stuff. You too, what are you doing? Oh. Oh, that's like way more gruesome than the last time we hung out, Kurt, and I go over I go over to the What? To the this this guy looks like super gross, but I'm also like salivating. I mean he's kinda bit. gross, but yeah. like he's he's an idiot. He's breathing as you get closer. Mmm, I'm salivating more if he's alive. There's a lot of blood all over his hands, mm-hmm. his arms, and his front, like his mouth down through his chest. Mm. And he's just sort of passing out. And I think you see some like Dorito crumbs in an empty Dorito bag off to the side. Mm, yeah. What are you guys doing? Um, well, I was, you, changed, you, changed, you changed my mind when she said he was alive. I was going to do something else. <laughs> oh, you're going to talk to his ghost. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, I guess I can. It's like a read a bad situation. Sounds good. Give me two to six plus sharp. Yeah, can I like with, with a little whiff actually tell if he is a, a, a werewolf boy or not? Is that a possible? Thing? If that's one of your like magic like the extended uses, so we're using the cool what is it tome of mysteries like thing that adds yeah. on uses. I think that that makes sense. Cool stuff. Plus weird. Yes. And I got a nine. Great. You can ask one of those questions for read a bad situation. Ooh. Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? I think that as you sort of look at this and look at the the perimeter of, I think it's a pretty wooded like yard at the end of the yard, and then mm. that that way it's kind of like shielded from view from the street. Uh, I think you see parked on the other side of the street a big construction van with a Confederate flag sticking out of it, and two people just in the front of it just looking at you. What is what is Percy seeming like? He's how's he feeling about this? What, what is, well, you tell me, what is Percy, I don't think you or Percy are ghost hunters or monster hunters, so I think Percy's I a think little... Percy's just a little, would be upset that, like, because, you know, he's there, he thinks that the war's still going on and there is a Confederate oh flag. What did they do to this poor Latino boy? Those Confederate bastards. What have they done? I wouldn't use boy like that. What do you mean? And I pull out my, I pull out, I have a, I have a, I have a silver union sword that I got from my ghost. Holy friend. shit! And I pull it out and go, he's from a different time! And then I start charging towards the two people and the Confederate flag with Percy. Because I feel his spirit of hatred towards the south. <laughs> uh, I just turn the camera as it's going. <laughs> so I'm like, see, he, I'm like, see, he gets it. Sounds are cool. Uh, but also I rolled a 10 uh, to, to give him a whiff. Uh, okay, so so what is this question? Like, I, I need like a, a question to answer. So, so like, I mean? is he actually a werewolf? Um, like, is he something different than regular human? I can tell you this: that's not human blood on his hands. Mm. You smell a lot of Doritos. I'm just it's gonna Dorito like Dorito blood. <laughs> I'm just gonna like wipe my hand uh, on like a little bit of the blood and run after uh, Robert while I take a little taste. <laughs> 
is this a is this a vampire thing that you just know what blood is? I'm just I look I've had I a, know what blood look, is. Look, I've had a lot of I've had a lot of samples. I know what blood is. Jove, I know what blood is. Sorry. What were you saying? Well, I've, I've sampled a lot of different kinds of blood. I'm just trying to see if I can get a read on what's going on. Uh, animal of some sort. Mmm, all right. It's definitely not people blood. You Don't. remember that from the, 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 the French uh, Revolution. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right, all right. And I'm going to... Hey, Robert, what do you... No, hey, hey, what do you... Robert, the power of love compels me! And I'm trying to kill some people <laughs> that are confederates. Uh, are there are two construction workers in the front of their truck. They have not gotten out, and they just sort of look at you uh, through, like, the, the doors of their, <laughs> as you run up with the sword. Yeah. They just completely unflinching. They're kind of strange looking. Uh, one of them is very tall and gaunt. He's the one on the driver's wheel. Mm -hmm. And the other one who doesn't have his seatbelt on is, like, a shorter, Master. like, slightly younger guy with, like, a very round, sort of flabby face and just wide open eyes and, like, a slack jaw. But the the gaunt one is just sort of leaning back in his chair and looking at you. Uh, 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 catch up. As they run off, I'm gonna look in the camera and say, "Was it this time that both my co-hosts died in a horrible accident? <laughs> Who knows? Find out on this week's episode." Who was it? <laughs> I'm gonna stay where I am. <laughs> Are you doing anything on the on the scene? I'm just gonna look at the body. Maybe, like, nudge it with my foot. Sounds like an investigative mystery. Okay. Well, Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> what do I add to that? Uh, cool, or no, sharp. Yeah, sharp. Sure. Okay, cool. That's a nine. Great, you get to ask any one of those questions. <laughs> uh, in, in theme of asking questions that make no sense, I'm gonna look in the camera and look at the body. What was he gonna do? <laughs> I what think was he <laughs> going to do? I think as you ask this, like the front door like creaks a little bit in the wind and you see that it is open and you can see directly into his house and through down a hallway an open door with a computer monitor that is on. I'm just going to slowly start me Well actually, I'm going to quickly start meandering that direction. Are is you, it creepy? It's very creepy. I'm going to mark experience. <laughs> As that's happening, I think I catch up to Robin. Yeah. I'm like, hey, hey. And I place my banana boat slathered cold hand on his face. I'm like, and I pull the glasses down. What are you doing? What are you doing? And then I point, I point with my sword to the, uh, to the, to the people, the weird looking people in the Confederate truck. And I want to roll a uh, spirit touch. Your experiences have made you sensitive to the supernatural. When you sense magical things, roll plus weird. So awesome. I want to try to see if I can like tell what's up with these weirdos because I I forgot my ghost boyfriend a lot. He has a lot of very diverse friends. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shit yeah. I got a three. <laughs> <laughs> They're not worth it. Does it offer anything by way for me what I should do if this? Um. Like <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh. Uh. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> No, no, it doesn't. Well, no, certainly well, not. Certainly so not. what it does say is on seven to nine, choose either sense them fully, but they notice you too, or only sense and press. I, but like, I think it's just bad. I'm like, I'm trying to like look into the spirit world, kind of. I get it. So I think it's kind of like the <laughs> with I, a saber, just yeah. So it's. I, I think you walk up, oh, and nice they just sort of the the, the <laughs> one with the total blank face just is complete blank face looking at you, but like the gaunt, like sort of like smarter looking one looks at you, and then immediately looks to your left and sees Percy. And I'm just, uh, yeah, well, okay, that's spooky. And then he starts the car and drives off. And you notice one more thing. There's blood on his work gloves. Red. Bright red. As they drive off. Well, they're not worth it. Percy, they weren't worth it. It's fine. Them's was confederate devils. Right, but like... What is this voice? But like, <laughs> but like, we've got stuff to do. The flies on the face of goodness and reason and justice. I heard the great man Frederick Douglass once speak, and he just sort of <laughs> <laughs> gabbles on. Yeah, that's why I was like, he's just gonna tell you the whole speech. It's, it's. I'm gonna be honest. I'm impressed how good he is at just like repeating it word for word. I don't know if it's accurate. <laughs> 
You never, uh, you never bothered to look at. No, I just never bothered to listen to what we're saying right now. You kind of just tune it out. Like, yeah, yeah. Kind of, oh, well, he's still going, huh? Yeah. Well, he's still just talking. to the slave is the Fourth of July. <laughs> this, for the purpose of the celebration, is the Fourth of July. It is the birthday of your national independence and of your political freedom. So, yeah, I, 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 and you so say he's from Philadelphia. Yeah, but, you know, he just hung out a lot in the, uh, you know, regional accents and ghosts okay. also. Okay, okay, yeah. all right, yeah, yeah. so, so, so yeah, uh, I put my, I put my, my, uh, my sword up and go, anyways, those guys seem really weird, but I'm gonna be honest, I think you might be right, they're not important. Nah, it's fun, so those yeah. guys, they're not important. I thought it was doing any things we, that we had pass, here. like, a truck with a Confederate flag on right. the way here, there happened to be one just now, and they had, like, they also had, like, weird bright red blood on their hands. Right. No, that's just because they're a bunch yeah. of racist dicks. Yeah. but I'm going to be honest, though, you know, it's not our jobs as, the, as you know, kind of like the foils of the show to right. put these things together. We should, <laughs> so it's kind of odd. Yeah, no, I mean, it's really, the honest is uncut for these yeah, things. So. I mean, he's, a, he's definitely got the best deal for that. We got like, he, can, he can deal with them for me. Yeah, he, he, can, he can put it all together. Yeah. Just, you know, I'm too interested to have a spooky time. Oh, you know? spooky time. We just don't have a spooky time. Uh, anyway, that's, oh, wait, 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 where's Kurt? Oh. Kurt, you have wandered into this very spooky hallway. Who was it? <laughs> it's I saw a ghost. I swear I saw a ghost. Did you see that ghost? It's just like a poorly furnished, like, single-story house in uh, the Atlanta suburbs. And I walked into this poorly furnished, single-story <laughs> suburb house. Would it be the last house I ever walked in? And you continue to walk into <laughs> Felix Montreal's room where there is uh, a empty server, Counter-Strike, just running. Clearly he had been in the middle of a gaming session. And on his alternate monitor is some of his own political speeches that he is making like on Facebook, like the auto-scrolling video or whatever. And it's... Uh, um, I walk and look at the Counter-Strike monitor. <laughs> it's a game of Counter-Strike. He was clearly playing, and it's. I think you can check like how long somebody's been in the lobby, and this is since like early this morning. It's like things 4 trying to speak to me here. I feel it. <laughs> Who's the last killer character to kill him? Weed Hitler 420. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> then I look at his. <laughs> And you sort of come in halfway. Uh, Sorry, Joe. <laughs> he's talking to a mostly empty cafetorium. Uh, greetings and thank you for coming out tonight. What a great turnout. I'm happy to be here. I'm going to get right to the point and say what we're all thinking. Gosh damn it, excuse my language. The bus stop on Pratchett Avenue is just too far away. It's not close enough to either the Taco Bell or the Rite Aid, but is instead exactly 1.16 miles away from both of them. It doesn't make any sense, and I counted them using my cousin Kyle's yardstick. It's dangerous to walk on the road, and for too long, the government's done nothing about this travesty, and as your city alderman, I will do my best to right this wrong. Full disclosure, I am a werewolf, and do change into a mindless beast, <laughs> and on a full moon, but I will not let my condition come between me and serving you. <laughs> I fucking vote for him. Cla <laughs> Classic <laughs> Felix. I'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight, especially Mr. Gungerson, because I'm pretty sure he was in a war when he was younger, and I respect the troops. Thank you to my cousin Kyle for co-writing this speech, Black Lives Matter. And he drops the mic. <laughs> Classic Felix. Classic Felix. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's, uh, that guy got, yeah. <laughs> Felix gets it, man. And I think there's a lot of people, like, live commenting right now. Like, they're sort of registering shock that he's been elected alderman. And sort of going woo for his change to the bus stop. Near do I see Friday. any? Do I see any posts by Weed Hitler 420? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm afraid not. The link doesn't connect, or uh, will it? It's like Weed Who Hitler 420 it? doesn't matter at all. Uh, it couldn't be. It couldn't be. It couldn't oh be. A name so, like that? It's gotta be important. Oh, oh I'll, I'll give got you it. one more thing with your. What was he going to do? Uh, it looks like in the wreckage of, like, this guy's just messy room, uh -huh. he was dragged <sighs> out the door. Can I read a bad situation? Yes. <laughs> the exact same fucking rule. Nine. You get to ask one question. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> I look in the camera and I say, what's the best way out? <laughs> And as you look out the window, you see that weird truck with the Confederate flag pull up. The the long lanky guy get out, take out a pickaxe with his red hand, and slam it into the asphalt below, breaking off a chunk of asphalt. 
and you, Robert, see Percy disappear. Y'all, my ghost boyfriend just dipped, and that is not like him. Oh, uh, well, maybe he, maybe he had to uh, miss ghost piece. <laughs> he doesn't, he goes piece in front of me. We're in a very committed relationship. Uh, I don't even pee with the door open at anyone's house I go to. That's how much I love my ghost boyfriend. I, I respect a relationship. The two um, figures get out of the car down the block uh-huh. and begin to slowly walk towards you, the older, gaunter one dragging the pickaxe sort of menacingly. Whoa. Menacingly. Hmm. You know, Robert, something tells me those guys be, might be more than just like random racist assholes. That's like, you see that? I know, but, but I thought that, and then you told me no, so we... Well, right, but since they, since they went further away, but now he's got like an axe. Oh, and they're like walking oh, towards us now. When they left, when they went, when they were just in the truck and they went away, it was like kind of no big deal. Like it was a big deal because like, Kirby, so they should know better. But. Do I see them advancing on these two? Yeah. And is is there like the window that's facing the situation? It's not going to be comfy to get out of it. If it's no, 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 no. Yeah. Just asking. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. There's like see. a window. Is it open? Yes. The, so the window is open. Yeah. That's facing the situation that's yeah. going on with them. Cool. I'm gonna like quickly. Uh, as quick as I can. I know I can't roll with the cameras on, but like I'm gonna like combat run and bunker down next to the window and be like, oh, we were we we're being potentially uh, 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 attacked by some form of um, some form of um, e- ectoplasmic uh, creature, and I'm gonna pull out my Amazon ghost gun. Okay. And I'm gonna lean out the window and turn it on at them. And nothing happens because it's a it's a flashlight. I'm gonna keep doing it, and just hope. <laughs> just keep clicking it on and off. From the other side of the block, a squad car is lazily coming to uh, to meet where you guys are in the middle. And a quick look into the front driver's side shows the same two men: one gaunt and one completely slack jawed with a terrified so blank. Do, I, I, do I feel like Percy's gone? Like I don't have access to my Percy powers. He. Busted out mid sentence talking about how great Frederick Douglass was. Um, I want to roll monster empathy because mm-hmm. I want to try to figure out what these supernatural creatures desire. Awesome. So I get to roll plus charm. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just turning a magnet hey, on and off. Yeah, so I got an 8 plus 2. That's so a 10. On a 10, I get to hold 2. What does it most desire and what would it accept as good enough for now? Okay. Oh. You get to know these two things in conversation. Yeah, it's just what's well, just. Uh, th- yeah, we can we can figure out what it is. Uh, so I yeah, this is great. Yeah. I think that these these menacing figures, the one the the ones that are construction, yeah. and the ones that are police, the, these two same figures that you see on either sides of the street, the the police ones uh, sort of turn off their vehicle, step out and close their doors and their hands are still bloody red, Uh just like the construction ones. They walk up, mirror images of each other surrounding you. And the police ones say, what's going on here? Uh, do not worry, officers. We we have a film permit. Yeah, we, we, uh, we're we're just here doing an interview with the, uh, Atlanta's first open werewolf Alderman. Yeah, here, man. I pulled over to the... Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a crime scene in progress. Well, uh, he just had too many Doritos. Yeah. Uh, he was like that when we got the... Uh, Looks like he's covered in blood as he reaches up and strokes his own uh, chin. Covered well, in blood. Well, now, what? I feel like... See, that's, that's not really... Yeah, I feel like it's a little... It's called a little pot call, kettle blood cover, covered. Yeah, and this whole time I'm like backing up toward Felix. Yeah. Like, no, that's no, I don't think that's exactly fair. I think the silent fish one is somehow behind you, and you back up into yeah. him just with his dead fish eyes and just slack jawed okay. face. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I uh, like I back up into him and I do like the whole like reach behind me like Scooby Doo like feel the face. You feel uh-huh. his abs. And I, feel, like, I feel his face, yeah. and uh, I suck the life out of him and try to run away. <laughs> yeah, give me uh, an attack roll. <laughs> Uh, that's plus weird, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so that will be a nine. Great. Uh, so you guys trade damage, right? Well, I, yeah. Yeah, I right? was, Yeah, I was doing my, yeah, that is, uh, that is under attacks. Yes, life drain. 
life drain. So uh, I think as soon as that happens, th this fish man is right behind you. You slap it on him and it's like slapping iron. It's like slapping cold iron that actually burns your flesh. And as you suck, or you slurp, you do the damage you feel, but it doesn't heal you. Oh. It's almost like this life force is not anything that you could subsist on. And in retaliation, this this blank-faced, fish-sort-of-eyed man just lowers his jaw even more and lets loose a horrible... Oh, I hate that! And just like two damage ignore armor. Oh, God. Yeah, so I'm just kind of like, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so, like, what y'all... What y'all trying to do here? Y'all also, your cops, I got a report by missing... Ghost boyfriend, if you, you ever had a boyfriend go missing on you? Oh, he went missing. That's a shame. You're saying that real weird, like like you knew it before I told it to you. Uh, I was wondering maybe if we could just make this little problem with Felix go away. And your friend in the window. Uh, I'm prepared to make a bargain. Uh, I mean... Alright. Rodolph is very unsettled by this no. by this person who uh, he could not fully suck the life out of right now. You let me and my co-worker take Felix in for questioning. He may be an elected official, but he hasn't taken the office yet. We'll see what he's guilty of, if anything, and we'll let you go on your way. Uh, and I'm sure if you just keep driving, your ghost boyfriend will come right back. Uh, I would, I would like to get a lead on these guys. That seems like what he's doing right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. Yeah. I, I, that is what he wants. Yeah. Is your question? So he wants us to leave, and then again, and and the other that, one. He uh, wants to have the guy. So yeah, the des feelings. that's his desire, and then so the second one, which is going to be like, what's what would he accept is good enough for now? It's like, what if we, we we all do leave, but we leave with you and Felix because we are a documentary crew. And I gotta say, some real good ghost hunting stuff would be whatever this is and whatever you're gonna do with him. You don't I, wanna travel with a dangerous criminal, do you? He's got blood all over him, he said as blood continues to drip down from his hands. There's, well, I mean, he does have a lot of blood all over him, but I mean, you know... That's, that's just a lion punch. Uh, yeah. He's, he's got another delete those. <laughs> uh, you know, you should talk to our producer, uh... Yeah, we, we Bob, can get Bobby, Bobby. on the phone. Yeah. You wanna, do you want to talk to Bobby? My phone? Yes. Hello? 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 Kurt, I just got woken up by these two really weird guys. They, I don't know how they got in my hotel room. There's like a there's like a there's like a skinny guy and like a they they, they said they, they needed to talk to me but I don't know they just said to call you. Okay, well, well I'm talking to you now. We're looking at f four of them right now, and uh, F Felix might be dying. Felix Montreal. Maybe. Hey, maybe we should call the police. Yeah, two of them are the police. So um, I think your friend's talking to your producer, if that's what he needed to set up. Okay. Uh, oh, well, oh, well, that's... So I, I, you guys are just going to sign, like, the, the the release to be on film? I guess that's kind of... Yeah, we, we've got the forms in the van. Yeah. We could just, uh... I don't I mean, know if that's really a decision that we can make. We're just sort of the hired help. So you, okay. said, so you said that whenever mm. Percy disappeared, that, like... An axe hit on the ground? Yeah. The, is the axe the, still in there, or is the guy holding the I axe? I think he's just holding it. Okay. For some reason, it was the exact moment that he split into the asphalt. Can I, like, is there any way in all of the books in Father Spooky's creepy emporium and everything, like... Yeah, I think this, it makes sense. That yeah. you have, like, an awareness, so you're gonna, you're trying to think, what is this? Yeah, yeah, I'm like... You also have, like, both of you have, like, ghost sense yeah. and stuff to, like... And I think you already did that, but it was just a critical failure, or else you would have had... Yeah, some I, I was trying to spirit touch him, but I didn't yeah. do that. Uh, is this going to be an eight? Uh, yeah, so I, I, if we're making up a, a, a move here, I, I can give you something interesting. Yeah, if, if it's like... Yeah, I mean, is that plus weird, I guess? Uh, or, yeah, plus weird, absolutely. Well, then, yeah, yeah, it's an eight. So useful, so, so interesting, then. Um, they both have tattoos. On the side of their necks, mm -hmm. they are a pentagram each. Cool! 
I want, Super good. Okay, so I want to try to do Dark Desires where I could use Manipulate Somebody, but on monsters. Okay. Uh, but I have to be using emotional times. <laughs> okay. Kiss them on the face. Um, so I get to roll charm. Ooh. Hell yeah. A 12. There it is. Um, okay. Whew. So, uh, okay, there's no, no bonuses on 12s, but on a 10 plus, they'll do it for the reasons you gave them. And so I just go up to them and go... And I just touch his face and go, listen, whenever I was walking in that field and I found my ghost boyfriend, I promised myself I would never leave somebody that ate too many Doritos and alert again like I did to my friend earlier that night to find my ghost boyfriend, mainly because I thought if I left someone else in Doritos, I would find another ghost boyfriend and my current ghost boyfriend would be jealous. So I would like you to bring back my ghost boyfriend and leave us to go hang out with Felix Alderman. I think that that is his new last name because that's how elections work. <laughs> <laughs> Powerful. <laughs> that is how elections work, though. I think another cop car rolls up, <laughs> and two more of these guys get out and come by, and all of the, the now the three iterations of the gaunt guy yeah. get in real close and say at the same time, You can have your ghost boyfriend back if you leave right now and you leave Felix here. Okay, we'll just go in the house and we'll get Kurt, and, yeah. then, we'll, and then we'll just get right out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does that sound great? Sounds great, as they all turn to you. <laughs> and, then, and then I wink at you, because I get what you're picking out. So I'm going to roll uh, Act Under Pressure. <laughs> so I want to deal. Kurt, he just said something about leaving the boy ghost boyfriend or something. I don't get it. Hey, hey, hey Bobby. I have a question. Yeah. Now that you're a higher up. I mean, not really a higher up. It's more of like... Yeah, this was... bullshit gun they gave me from Amazon had to do absolutely shit. Because I've been using it, and it's not doing anything. Because I wanted to go try to grab Felix's body and throw it in the van, but I got a six. <laughs> <laughs> so I do run to go get Felix's body, and I'll let tackle you tackle the it. naked body, and instantly the two uh, the, now the three fish boys yeah. open up their mouth one more time and scream in unison, and everybody has to roll plus tough because this scream oh, it tears like through. Even if I'm really far away. Really far away. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Hello friends, Jonah here to say thank you for listening to this episode of View Do. This side quest is brought to you by our wonderful sponsor, Castor and Pollux, makers of mystical jewelry and geeky novelties. Quest Company listeners can go to castpollux.com and get 15% off of your order of dice, jewelry, and other nerdy accessories by using the code THEQUESTCO at checkout. That's T-H-E-Q-U-E-S-T-C-O, all one word and no spaces, for 15% off of your entire order. And if you're a fan of the Quest Company, please do us a favor and go to our page on the Apple Podcast app or wherever you listen to your podcasts and leave us a rating and review. It's a huge help to us and we read every review that comes in. And if you really love what we do here at the Quest Company and you want to take the next step in supporting us, please consider becoming a Patreon subscriber. You can help us with necessary expenses that come with creating all this content and help us continue to improve the quality of the show. We have multiple patron tiers available and every little bit helps. If you'd like to give us that support, you can do so at patreon.com slash questcompanypodcast. We also have a link to the Patreon on our website, questcompanypodcast.com. If you'd like to contact us, you can do so directly through the Connect page on our website, or you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, etc., at the Quest Company. Earlier this week, we released the pilot of our first Quest Company Junior series, Postcards from Pearl, a Pokemon adventure. If you haven't listened to that yet, please check it out. You can join Pearl, a 10-year-old Pokemon trainer, as she leaves her cruise ship upbringing behind to uncover the wonders of the Kinoko region, along with her best friend, Seely the Seal. The response to Quest Co. Jr. has been really lovely so far, and we are super excited to share the first episode of Guardians of Greenwood, our Redwall-inspired campaign, with you when it comes out on Monday, June 24th. We've got some more exciting announcements about Quest Co. Jr. on the way, so be sure to keep an eye out for those. 
I'd like to thank Mr. Joe Lytus for running the game and editing these episodes, and I'd also like to thank all the fantastic artists whose music you're hearing on the show. Thank you to Joe Cash for the View theme, Spanky's House of Spanks. You can find more of his work at josephcash.bandcamp.com. Thank you to tabletopaudio.com for the tracks Noir Procedural and Existential Dread. Thank you to Frenick for the song Wolf Falcon Deer. Thank you to Sextile for the song Tuscan Sun. Thanks to Coyote Hearing for the song Devil Cut. And thank you to Diano Waco for the song Working for the Devil. Additional sound design by Rodan Coil and Garzul. That's all for me, so let's get back to the boys. Thanks for joining us here at the Quest Company. Oh, no. Okay, I got a... Okay! I got an eight. Okay. I got a five. Oh my god. Uh, give me that hot four. <laughs> oh yeah, my god. Suck it, motherfucker. <laughs> Kurt Seaman. Mm. Let's waste both flats. Oh no, I didn't mean for this to happen. You did, though. You did oh, it. You're on like two harm, aren't you? I am. Okay. You do it, do it, John. You all, you both take three harm, ignore armor. Yeah. And Joel, you get to choose. Uh, your brain is addled, or you take three harm, ignore armor. Uh, I've got an addled brain. Great, take a minus one to cool. Okay. It's your ongoing debility. Uh, and uh, just as quick as lightning, two policemen and one construction guy, I'm going to call him Lanky, immediately as one movement, bring pickaxes and nightsticks onto you, oh. Rudolph. My freak, and I'm gonna try to fly away. <laughs> okay, what is this? Uh, when I leveled up, I took uh, flight. What? <laughs> you just fly? I, I whoosh my cape and I'm like, I'm out! Act under pressure. <laughs> Not these, those betrayed me. <laughs> yeah, a lot of you guys are betrayed. Yeah, they're, uh... Woo! Nope! <laughs> Did you level up again yeah, yet? three, yeah, oh yeah. That's Cause you got time. paid, what, four? Two hundred dollars a week. It's karma, bitch. I oh think the, the blank-eyed, fish-eyed guy who I'm gonna call Fish Eyes, mm-hmm. uh... I feel like that's definitely like a racial slur. Fish eyes McGinty. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, are you gonna do a cursory Google to find out? No, I'm just gonna say that fish face, uh, the guy I'm Probably gonna... worse. Oh god. Alright. Could be hold honest on. with you. Let's <laughs> we'll see, what was that my third or fourth full failure? I forgot. No, fish eyes is just fish Ooh, eyes. Three. You, uh, fish eyes, in, like, as soon as you get up with just supernatural, again, that, that feeling like cold iron is touching you as you zoop upwards and he just grabs your ankle without even any change in expression and throws you back down onto the earth. Oh! Uh, and I think you are scrambling against the asphalt as it, and it sort of like digs into your skin. This is way more supernatural shit like than Rodolfo has ever had to deal with. with in the past. He's like, I can just like touch people and they faint if I absolutely have to. This is, this is obscene. Even the party monster. All of this is terrible. And I cannot wait to have a conversation with you. Kurt, what are you doing? As you see Rodolph fly and then get thrown down, you see Robert try to tackle Felix Montreal. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know the America's Funny Symphony, it's always like the same fall that the one guy, he's running too fast, and then he realizes he's running too fast, so he just sort of like leans forward and just fucking face plants it and like slides on his face. Is, is there a gun in the room that I'm in? <laughs> Can I search for a gun? <laughs> you can search for a gun. I think it takes you a couple seconds to realize. No, there's just like a replica Azeroth, like winter f- or what fucking Frostmourne sword from World of Warcraft hanging on the on the wall. And I think the auto playing video just starts up again, and he's still talking about the road construction between Taco Bell and Rite Aid, and it's just useless. Well, that's that'll be my turn looking for a gun. <laughs> no, like seriously. Okay, I don't then, just take no, 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 that's fine. Then I'll do this instead. What about... Oh, you got, I've got nothing for this situation yet. I'm just gonna get in the window and film. And be like, start monologuing, right? Like, oh my god, they're hurting Rudolph. Oh my gosh, everyone, they, they might kill us. And Rudolph flies. Oh no, whoa, my god. Whoa! <laughs> uh, gets thrown back what down. What was that? What was that? What was that? I'm doing, like doing it for real and the camera's facing it. I'm like, no, 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 no. The, the three sort of lanky guys 
Uh, as soon as you are on the ground and you are on the ground, they turn on their heel, walk towards Felix, and each put a hand on his shoulders, lifting him up into the air. What do you do, Rudolph? Oh! The fish guy ah. is just continuing to stare at you with that blank expression. Oh! Now, here's my question. I have the immortal move. Wherever I suffer harm, I suffer one harm less. Yeah, so, so you would have suffered one and two. Oh, great, that's much better. Ah, I, like, stretch out a little bit on the ground for a second uh, as I'm no longer dying. The ground feels weird. It feels weird. The road underneath you, now that you are down and, like, slammed into it, mm -hmm. there's something about the road. I'll give you that one for free. Okay. Because you just got slammed into the earth twice. Okay, great. I, I'm very uh, intimately aware of the road. <laughs> ah! All of my previous escape attempts have been uh, not great. So wait, so where where in proximity is all of all of dudes? It's Calvin Ball. They are all near the front of the, the porch. Uh, they have all picked him up and I am sort of giving you the danger that they're about to whisk him away. Okay. Oh god. Oh no. But they're they're between me and him and where's where's um Robert? I'm right next oh to him. Just like like right next to him. Yeah, I, I guess Robert might be able to act first. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not, I, I know what I want to try to do. Yeah, I don't please, know, you, you I don't first, know if Percy is fully gone or they just kind of sent him away, but so mm -hmm. I want to try to roll to make Percy uh, possess the body of, of Felix. Felix to where hopefully like yeah. he can like run away. Whenever you would roll plus weird, you can roll charm instead by channeling the power of your bond. Yeah, okay. So like I'm think... trying to channel the power of my bond, so like... Yeah. I would use charm, and then you you make me do yeah, bond yeah. abusal whenever, like, if I if don't go too far, if I go too far, or if he tells rude. me to do something, yeah. 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 So, but this is me just trying to channel that to where I'm trying to get. Uh, yeah, use magic. Percy. Yeah. So, but so I get to roll charm instead. Yeah. Oh no. That's a, okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, okay. Uh, it's a six. Six plus two. It's an eight. It's I, an eight. I think as though from a very far distance you hear Percy call you call your name, Robert, and then all of a sudden, as though he's had to like pull himself into being, yeah. he is there next to you, and you point at Felix, yeah. and he tries to jump in, and I think it works. I think, uh, un, you know, uncoordinatedly, he is now in Felix's body, like trying to swat at the uh, arms yeah. and stuff. So now you yeah. have Men in Black one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you want me to swat hands? <laughs> You mean like this? <laughs> I love that guy. The big Roach Man. Who the fuck is that? Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, so good. Uh, so now you have an ally in, in Felix. Right. Okay, as that's going on, I want to try to uh, escape from my guy and hop in a cop car and run these guys over. Okay, I think you stand up, like, ready to, like, ward off a blow, and he just continues to stand there like a fish. Like in, in human limbs, uh -huh. and I, I think you back away and get in the cop car and are able to turn it on. Nice. Maybe uh, uh, an act under pressure to run him over. Okay, okay. Oh, hey, I didn't know I had two plus two cool. You, you uh, learned so your that's lesson. A, that's, a, that's a nine. You learned your lesson from New Ridge. Right? Um, that, that was what it was, actually. That's exactly why I had plus two cool. So I offer a worse outcome, a price to pay, or a hard choice. As you turn on the car, the fish guy doesn't even like follow you with his eyes. And, and then once the like car turns on and you like rev it first, then he seems to realize that you've moved and he turns to look at you, finally focusing on you with his eyes, and you smash right into him and he disappears in a puff of black, awful smelling tar smoke. And uh, the price that I'm going to in, uh, pay is that this draws everybody's attention. And all three of the lanky guys yeah and the remaining two fishy guys mm -hmm. are uh instantly dropping uh felix and focusing on your car and uh i think the first thing that happens is a pickaxe gets lodged directly uh next to you uh poof, just like a spike uh, an inch or a half away from you oh so with this new danger in mind kurt are you doing anything <laughs> other than building? yeah is there anyone still kind of near felix's body uh i think literally just robert because the okay, rest of them are but now... But they, like, got all the way away from him? Yeah. Yeah, at least by, like, five, ten And feet. you did see Felix stand up, because he's now possessed by yeah, that Yeah, Felix is him. now, like... Fuck. I don't know that. Rubberly getting up on his, his legs. Does Felix look like a threat? Felix looks asleep. Okay. But, like, That's we better. can have Bernie's moving asleep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, my God, we can have Bernie's. Yeah. <laughs> we can have <laughs> Felix's. Okay. 
I'm gonna Kurt, hit. Kurt, there! And the, the, the connection cuts. The connection cuts. Yeah. <laughs> I close it, put it in my front pocket, <laughs> and I use the move that I picked up called panic button. <laughs> that feels right. I'm legitimately stressed out at this point. When I'm Joe the player. I'm stressed out by when this. When you need to escape, name the route you'll try and roll plus sharp. On a 10 plus, you're out of danger. No problem. On a 7 to 9, you can go or stay, but it's gonna cost you. You leave something behind, something comes with you. On a miss, you're caught halfway out. Okay, give me that roll. Give me oh, that God. sick roll. It's two fours. Oh, that's okay. that's a good one. It's a nine. Yeah, tell me how you get these two safe. My game plan is seeing those people walk away. Uh -huh. I'm going to bail out the front door uh -huh. and go running towards them, grab them, and start huffing it towards the car. The van. The yeah. van, whilst being like... Will we make it? We'll run it. Will we? Will we make it? You're still going. <laughs> it's my livelihood. I think you. Absolutely... I depend on those meal vouchers. I think we also <laughs> like determined that Kurt's like in shape. Yeah, so, no, like, he's, he's Kurt, a good dude. Kurt, I think, lifts like you guys and throws you into the, <laughs> no. the back of the van, jumps in the front and guns it, and uncomfortably you, so with my backpack. You pull out, uh, and you notice that they are. Now covering the car in which uh, uh, Rodolphe is is currently trapped, you pull maybe ten feet down the road and stop to see what happens here. What do you do, Rodolphe? Uh, is any of them like so? They're like on the car now. They are I was, like I was like whipping like, it around, like fists punching through, like grabbing at you, and for the moment you're like evading like their grasp. Mm -hmm. But they the the dead uh, dead eyed fish guys mm -hmm. are uh, just sort of wailing with with open hands and and no real articulation, just mm -hmm. slamming forearms and bending the metal and creaking through, uh, whereas the gaunt guys with the pickaxe are, are actually trying to kill you and grab you and pull you out. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Uh, I'm just going to, like, start doing crazy-ass donuts in the yard and everything, <laughs> try, to, try to throw them off the car. Act under pressure. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, it was, it was you last time. It was me last time. The spooky got ramped up, and now three, it's Rodolph's it problem. Oh, three plus two. Oh, so I get to five. make so many hard moves. Oh, Char, no. I think you just leveled. I'm, oh, you well, must I, well, I'm trying to remember, because I, I was ready Wait, do you get experience for failing in this? Yeah. yeah. I have, oh, shit. Yeah, everybody's probably close. That's what I'm trying, I'm trying to remember just at, four You were five. just at four before this. That was the fourth. Okay, so, you so you then just that was hit the five. Fifth so you just got to level. I mean, and we'll you know what else happens? What? Something that we've never done in Monster of the Week. You character. get captured by the monster. Shit. The thing that you leave behind is Rodolphe Baptiste. You're saying it like it's a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And as, you, as, you, as I can see that look in your eyes, I show you the part of the contract that says that the show is canceled if it's not the three of us. Correct. <laughs> Fuck! As you drive off into the Atlanta afternoon. Well, wait. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because here's the thing, I I think that this is the hard move that I'm taking. He's getting captured. Okay. It's, I'm not like giving more harm or this or that. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. He has like succumbed to the enemy forces for now. Uh, with all that entails, we'll find out. Okay. What do you do now that you have named this panic route? I think you got to follow through. What's your instinct? Just driving off, assuming that Ro Rodolph would get in the van. Um. Can I tell, can I tell, like, as we're driving off, can I, I want to ask Percy, I'm like, can you, can you go with him so we can find, like, we can find you later? Uh, yeah, I think he comes, he, he drops, like, Felix is just sort of standing, like, like, not dissimilarly from the <laughs> fish guys, just with no, like, yeah. limb control, and then he, like, ghosts out and Felix just crumples up. Cradle the head! Cradle the head! <laughs> <laughs> you want me to leave you? You want me to go out on my own? But hey... I found you in that field however many years after you died. I'll find you in wherever this place is, probably, hopefully, in a lot less years. Maybe no years. I'm going to be honest, I feel like we should do it soon because, I mean, we're kind of on a timeline contract deadline here. And you know I got to eat. I know you got to eat. And then, uh, and then you see me kiss Felix's body because <laughs> we're having this conversation with Felix's body, and then that's whenever Felix's body just like crumples Slugs. again, and you see the ghost of Percy go out of the car. 
Uh, was that an abuse role? I don't know if it was. I, I, we could say abuse. I, I think I'm so. fine with that. So yeah, we can see. It's um, not, I, I think the language of abuse is, is a little rough. Okay, it's so, like sap, so I got a nine. So I get to choose one off of the list below, which is either mark off a box of your relationship status track, um, you can't channel the power for the rest of the mystery, gain unwelcome attention from the others, or someone sh- someone who shouldn't. No, it's fine to clues out about a relationship. I'm just going to go with, I'm going to mark one of our yeah, relationships. Yeah, that makes the most sense yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so it's just kind of like, you know, I this I, this is a big ask of me for him. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so I, I send Percy off. So for the time being, I, um, any of my ghost-related powers I can't use. But mm-hmm. I can still do like my scent stuff. Mm-hmm. That's just me. But yeah, so um, Percy's with Rudolph, so uh, we can find them later. Awesome. Damn. Welcome to the world of Heavendale, a town populated by superpowered teens that have been infiltrated by the Did group. Did you mention daycare yet? I was going to just say who they were. So hey, hey, don't forget to tell everybody that I used to be a villain. I have to I have to like get to that first before I can even say Damn it. Damn it, I rolled a five. Why are you rolling dice? We're just recording a promo and not playing. <laughs> Crap, I rolled a four. What? We are going to die in the promo. Okay, that doesn't really make sense if people haven't listened to the podcast yet, so I don't know why. It's a pre-callback. Okay, pre callbacks are not a thing. I feel really good about the promo. I have not even finished the opening line. Yeah, I think we nailed it. Okay, no one knows the name of our podcast. It's Critical Bits. It's a comedy role-playing game podcast. Find it wherever you get your podcasts. Yeah.